What is going on you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for staying true to the crew. On today's video, I'll be sharing my July 2020 favorites. So stay tuned if you want to see all the things I got last month. My name is Lonnie and these are Lonnie's Lessons. jump right into fave number one which is this pillow this is called the knot pillow I had seen these all over Instagram all over Pinterest for like probably the last two years and I've always wanted one it is a hand woven pillow that is super unique because it's this round knot shape and each pillow is handcrafted so each one is different it's really easy to style too because it is round so it easily kind of just settles into any arrangement of pillows or it's a statement piece and a conversation piece all by itself. It comes in 11 different colors. I purchased it from the notpillow.com. However, there are many, many sellers who have the same pillow. So I just think that it fits in so well with my decor. I was looking for something to be a pop of color because my home has a lot of blacks and whites and grays. And I have an accent color of a yellow, but I wanted something that was an unexpected pop. And this pillow definitely fit the bill. One tip for styling accent pillows is to make sure that you have a wide variety of shapes and sizes of pillows. So oftentimes the reason why your arrangements don't look as cool as they could is because you may have a lot of the same pillow in the same size or several pillows in the same shape in the same size. So instead of having three or four pillows that are the same exact dimensions, try to switch it up. It's always great to have height differences, shape differences, and texture differences when you're putting together a group of pillows. So for instance, this round pillow might look really nice next to a rectangular lumbar pillow and maybe a larger square accent pillow. If you're looking for more tips on how to style your home or how to do better with entertaining, you can check out my website, which is LonnieWasTheThird.com forward slash home and entertaining. The next two items have been helping me get through quarantine by helping me to make super awesome craft cocktails at home. And the next two items are going to be number two and number three. So number two is going to be the stainless steel hammered cocktail shaker. I purchased this from Target as well as the five piece bar tool set. I'm going to talk about the five piece bar tool set first. So it comes with five pieces. The first piece is this lovely stainless steel stand, which is really what drew me to purchase it because I wanted something to look great and also be functional. It's all about form and function over here on this channel. So it comes with four different bar tools and I'm just going to go through what they are. The first is a jigger. That is this item here. This is a kind of hourglass shaped measuring tool and this helps you to measure out the correct amount of alcohol for your cocktail recipes. The next one is going to be pretty straightforward. It is going to be this bottle opener. I don't know if you can see it, but the bottle opener is for removing caps from beer or from hard ciders, anything that comes in a bottle that needs to be popped. When you pop in bottles, you use that. Then we have a cocktail spoon. The cocktail spoon is for those drinks that are stirred and not shaken. So it's really long. It's longer than your average spoon so that it really can fit down into some of those higher or taller glasses. And last but not least, we have the strainer. The strainer is for cocktail shakers that do not have a built-in strainer. So when you are pouring out the drink, you just put this over top of the cocktail shaker or the glass and then you pour it into the drink. So this is a really helpful set to have around. I'm really excited that I have this. The cocktail shaker itself, I love the beautiful simplicity of the design. It's a cylindrical shape, which I love. It also comes with a built-in strainer and it also has a top that can double as a measuring, a measuring tool for your shots and your liqueurs so it's really great i'm super excited to start making more cocktails on my website and offering you guys recipes 
I'm also planning to do some live cooking demos, so stay tuned for those. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Lonnie Woods the Third. And if you're looking for more inspiration for drink recipes, check out LonnieWoodsTheThird.com forward slash recipes. You can check out my pineapple mimosa recipe or Lonnie's signature cocktail, which is my favorite. Right, so the next item is a hair item, and it is the Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Conditioner. Listen, I have been having such an issue with finding the perfect conditioner for my low porosity hair. If you saw my last fade video from June, you've seen that I found a new deep conditioning treatment from Oyen, but I really needed a actual conditioner that worked well for my hair. So I took a trip to Target and I took a chance on this Gold Series Pantene conditioner and let me tell you, it has been a game changer for my hair. When I tell you that this stuff, first of all, it smells amazing. Um, it is not too thick, but not too thin. And what I've learned about low porosity hair is that we actually, our hair loves thinner products. So thicker products tend to just sit on top of our hair because our hair cuticles don't open up as much as someone with high porosity hair. Anyway, that's a little bit of hair science, a little bit of geeking out about natural hair. But anyway, I love this conditioner because when it says moisture boost, baby, it is a moisture boost. It literally just sits on your hair. You don't even need a deep conditioner after it. It literally kind of like makes my hair soft to make my hair a lot more manageable. It gives it a nice moisture boost that really allows my hair to be more malleable and allows it to be more manageable when I am styling my hair. So I highly suggest the Gold Series Moisture Boost Conditioner. I've been using it for about three weeks and it literally has been a game changer for my hair routine. Now, I will say that I've not tried any of the other products, but I'm super curious about what the other products in this line might do. It's definitely created for people of color and people who have tighter textured hair and people who have natural, curly, coarse hair. So if you are someone who's looking for a new product, let me know if you've also tried this. Um, but give this a try, let me know what you think, and also let me know if you've tried the shampoo or any of the styling products that come along with this line. If you're looking for more inspiration on hair tips or if you want to see my hair journey, just go to my website, LonnieWizTheThird.com and go to the blog section. There is a hair and skin section where you can see all of my hair journey, what I did to grow my hair out, my length checks, what I think about the natural hair community and all that good stuff. And last but not least is number five. And number five is actually a tech kind of gadget. And that is the overhead arm articulating phone stand. I know, right? It looks like a robotic arm. Like, what the heck is this? But let me tell you what this is. So what you do is you attach this arm, and this is essentially a tripod. You can use it for a phone or you can use it for a microphone. So it has a little uh, screw piece here where you can attach it to the edge of a counter. So just to give you an example, I'm going to attach it to the edge of this countertop. Right now it's super easy. You just clamp it on to the surface and you just screw it to make it tight. Now that I have it screwed in nice and tight here at the base on the edge of the counter, you can see that I'm now able to fully move the arm all around. So this is a game changer, like I said, for aerial photography, but it's also just a really great phone holder for all types of purposes, whether you wanna watch TV in bed, maybe you're someone who is using your phone to film, maybe you're using your phone as a mic for your podcast, maybe you're using your phone to film something and you wanna be hands-free, or if you're shooting your stories or you're filming your live and you don't wanna have your phone in your hand, this is a great tool to have. I purchased it from Amazon. It was under $30. I am an Amazon associate, so I'll be sure to put the link to this down below in case you wanna purchase it. So let me show you how it works. So all you have to do is once you have it positioned where you want it, I'm gonna use these lemons as an example of something I'm trying to get a picture of. So I'm gonna just attach my phone to the tripod and I'm going to take the picture. Perfect, so once I take the picture, I am going to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. This is great for food photography. It has really taken my food photography game 
to the next level. So I just redid my website and I'm currently working to upgrade all of my recipes. I'm gonna also be reshooting some photos from my previous recipes because I've been posting my recipes for the last like three years and some of my earlier photography work I was not happy with. So when I relaunched my website a few weeks ago, I took down some recipes because I really wanted them to reflect the level of skill and food photography that I have now, even though the recipes are still bomb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reshoot them and have them up for you guys in the next few weeks but in the meantime I have a bunch of recipes I have recipes for appetizers for brunch for breakfast for dinner I have sweets and soups and drinks so if you're looking for inspiration for food or if you're looking for ideas for meal prep or for a weeknight dinner or if you want to impress someone definitely check out my website LonnieWasTheThird.com forward slash recipes you can see I do all the food photography there and if you want to see examples of my photography work or my video work you can definitely check out the portfolio section of my website it's just LonnieWasTheThird.com forward slash portfolio all right, you guys, that is it for this installment of Fade 5. I hope that you enjoyed what I purchased in July 2020. I really am excited about my bar tool set. I'm excited about my cocktail shaker. I'm excited about my articulating arm tripod, my knot pillow, and my brand new conditioner. So if you saw anything that you like, just check down in the description box. Everything will be linked below. As always, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Lonnie Was The Third, and make sure you visit my website, LonnieWasTheThird.com. Go check out the What I Did Wrong podcast. I publish new lessons of the podcast every Wednesday. As always, I leave you in love, peace, and style. Until next time, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you be good to yourself, and make sure that you like this video. I'll see you next time.